LFA includes the, uh, the station, uh, station design, so that means the, the, the antennas, uh, 256 antennas per station, 512 stations in total, and the station processing. The key advance in SK Low is that for the first time we'll be able to sample and digitally manipulate the signals from all 130,000 antennas to produce images with several orders of magnitude higher sensitivity and fidelity to the existing telescopes. So the dishes only see a fairly small region of the sky. The aperture arrays see the whole sky and uh, with sufficient electronics you can point the telescopes in a lot of different directions at once and so you just get a huge amount of information um, uh, back. It's all been made possible by recent advances in digital processing. You combine the signals received from all those antennas within a computer and, and from there each stations of hundreds of uh, these small antennas will become like a, an equivalent of a big dish. The sensitivity is just amazing uh, when you actually you know crunch the numbers and and see that uh, you know the the required sensitivity the goal that's going to be achieved is just phenomenal. We completely miss a part of the history of the universe and with SK-1 Low we will have the, the tools for studying that part of the, of the universe where all structures formed. The antennas for the SK-1 low are, are a fundamental and essential, their performance is an essential part of the system. So we are taking the design uh, very carefully in a step-by-step -step way. AVS-1 uh, you see what we call Scala 2. For SK uh, we designed a Scala 4, that's one of the test options. Uh, besides that we have an alternative antenna which comes from the MWA system uh, that will be tested as well. So we have a, a, a small medium-scale comparison. So when you put hardware out in the field, you learn that there are other issues that you perhaps hadn't uh, considered, and, and so you learn things, and, and that you know, leads uh, to the, the next iteration. I'm actually very pleased by the team, that the, pleased that the team uh, stuck together for five years, which in some cases is tough. Uh, lots of us have been to the site and have been weeks in the sun and in the, in the harsh uh, climate environment to really test the system, build the system. Working with so many different groups of people across the entire world is really quite an enjoyable challenge because the different points of view and different approaches to the work really opens your eyes to possibilities that you might not have seen had you stuck to your own ideas. You see the building blocks of uh, one of the two telescopes of the future SK Observatory and you feel really uh, something that is becoming more and more real. Thank <music> you.